Let's say that we have 983 and we want to subtract from that 657. So we want to get the answer and then after we get the answer we want to check it. What is 3 minus 7? We can't really do that because 3 is not big enough, so we have to make it 13. How do we do that? We have to borrow and make the 8 into a 7. So now 13 minus 7. We start with 13 and we go down. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We land on 6. So 13 minus 7 is actually 6, so we put a 6 right here. Next we have 7 minus 5. We start with 7 and we go down. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We land on 2, so 7 uh, minus 5 is 2. And then we have now 9 minus 6. We start with 9 and we go down 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We land on 3. So 9 minus 6 is 3. So we think this is the correct answer, but let's check it by subtraction. Now think about it. If we say that 983 minus 657 is 326, that's how much we took away to get 326. If we start with 326 and add back in the, 350, the 657, then we should get back what we started. So we subtracted to get the lower number 326. Uh, if we start here and add the 657 back, we should get back up to this number if we've done everything correctly. So we say 326 and we're going to add in that 657. We'll add that back in and see how that goes. So the opposite of subtraction is addition. We're checking our subtraction problem by adding. So what is 6 plus 7 or 7 plus 6? Start with 7 in your mind and go up. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We land on 13. So 7 plus 6 is 13 and so it's a two digit number so we carry a 1. What is 5 plus 2? That's 6, 7. We go up to 7 but we have one more so that's really an 8. So an 8 goes here. And then 6 plus 3. Start with 6 and go up 7, 8, 9 and we land on 9. So we get 983, which is exactly what we started with here. We subtracted to get the smaller number, but then when we add this back in, we should get back up to the number we started with, which is exactly what we just did. So every problem will be that way. We will do the subtraction first, and then we'll add back in, and we should get back to what we started with. So the next problem, 321, and we need to subtract from that 83, like this. Now what is 1 minus 3? We can't do that, right? Because 1 is not big enough. So the 1 has to become an 11. How do we do that? We borrow from the 2 and make it a 1. So now what is 11 minus 3? We start with 11 and go down. 10, 9, 8. We land on 8. 11 minus 3 is 8. So an 8 goes right here. Now we try to say 1 minus 8. We can't do that either because 1 is um, not big enough. So the 1, we change it to an 11. How do we do that? By making the 3 into a 2. So now we have 11 minus 8. We start with 11 and go down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We land on 3. So 11 minus 8 is actually 3. So a 3 goes right here. Uh, and then finally we have 2 minus nothing. 2 minus 0 is 2. So we get 238. So we think that the, the subtraction problem answer is 238. So let's check it by starting with 238 and adding back in the 83 that we subtracted to begin with. So we'll add this back in and see what happens. 8 plus 3. Start with 8, go up 9, 10, 11. We land at 11. That's a two-digit number, so we carry. 8 plus 3. Start with 8, go up 9, 10, 11. And so we land on 11, but then we have one more, which is 12. So we carry the 1 and the 12. And now we have 2 plus 1 is 3, and we get an answer of 321, which exactly matches our first number, 321. So we got the correct answer there, just like we got the correct answer above. So we can always check our subtraction problems by addition. Just add back in whatever we subtracted, and we should get the top number back. 456 is our next problem. Minus 292, so we'll subtract this out. Minus 292. Now what is 6 minus 2? Start with 6 by 4. We go down and we land on 4, so there's the answer. What is 5 minus 9? Now 5 minus 9 is not going to work because 5 is not big enough. We have to make it a 15. In order to do that, the 4, has to, we borrow from it to make it a 3. 
What is 15 minus 9? Start with 15, go down. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We land on 6. 15 minus 9 is 6. So the 6 goes right there. 3 minus 2 is just 1, so 1 goes here. So we think that we have the answer, 164, and we'll check it by starting with 164 and adding back in what we subtracted, 292. We have the small number, then we add back in what we took away, and let's see if we get the answer. Four plus two, start with four, go up five, six. We land on six, four plus two is six, so six goes right here. Nine plus six, start with nine and go up. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So nine plus six is 15, so we have the five, we carry the one. Now we have two plus one is three, plus one more is four. And we get the number of 456, which exactly matches, so we know that we did our original subtraction problem correctly. Every problem we do is going to be basically the same thing over and over again, just to get good practice. What if we have 542 and we subtract from that 240? 30. What is 2 minus 0? Well, you don't take anything away, you have a 2 left. What is 4 minus 3? Start with 4, take away 3, you have 1 left. What is 5 minus 2? Just start with 5, go down to 4, then go down to 3. So 5 minus 2 is 3. So we have an answer of 312. So we think that's correct, but we check it. We say, well, 312, we'll just add in whatever we took away to begin with. 230. Let's add it in and see what happens. What is 2 plus nothing? 2 plus 0 is 2. 3 plus 1 is 4. 3 plus 2, just start at 3 and go up for 5. So 3 plus 2 is 5. We get an answer of 542, which matches exactly the other problem. So we know we did our original subtraction problem correct. All right, good. We're about halfway there. Just getting some more practice. What if we have 400, and we want to subtract 179. All right, so this one's going to be a little interesting. What is it we're going to have here? Zero minus nine. We can't do it. Zero is not big enough, so we have to make it a 10. So we borrow from the next column to do that, but there's nothing here, so we can't actually borrow yet. We skip over that and make this a three to borrow from here to make this one a 10, but remember, as soon as we give something in the middle column, we have to immediately borrow from it and make it a nine. So we, we needed to make this a 10, we borrowed from here, we couldn't. We skip over and borrow from here. That makes it a 10. As soon as it becomes a 10, we immediately borrow because we're giving to this column. So this column gives to this column, which then also gives to this column. Now, what is 10 minus nine? If you start with 10 marbles and take away nine of them, you only have one left. What is nine minus seven? Start with nine and go down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We land on two, so nine minus seven is two. What is three minus one? Well, that's also two. So we get an answer of 221, and we're going to check it. We subtracted this to get the 221, so we'll start at 221, and we'll add this number back in, 179. We'll add it and see if we get the correct answer. So. 9 plus 1, you all know is 10, right? So we put a 0 there, carry the 1. 7 plus 2, start with 7, go up 8, 9. So 7 plus 2 is 9, plus 1 more is also 10. So the 0 goes here, we add the 1. Then the 2 plus this 1 is 3, plus this 1 is 4. And we got an answer of 400 matches the other number, so we know we did our subtraction correctly. All right, cruising right along. We're over halfway done now. What about... 318, and we'll subtract 101 from that. What is eight minus one? Well, you start with eight, you take one away, you have seven. What is one minus nothing? Well, you still have one left over. What is three minus one? Well, you go down and you have two. So we think the answer is 217, but we wanna check it. So let's say 217, and we add in whatever we just subtracted out. Let's see if we get back what we started. What is seven plus one? Well, that's just gonna be eight. What is one plus nothing? You're still gonna have one. What is a two plus a one? You're still gonna have a three, and that matches exactly, so we know that we did our subtraction correctly. So you see, the concept isn't hard. We're just doing a lot of them so that you have enough practice to know exactly what you need to do. What about 
521, and we'll subtract from that 297. What is 1 minus 7? 1 minus 7, how do we do that? Well, we, we can't because 1's not big enough, so we have to make it an 11. How do we do that? By borrowing from here and making it a 1. So now, what is 11 minus 7? Start with 11 and go down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We landed on 4, so 11 minus 7 is 4. Now, what is 1 minus 9? We can't actually do that because 1 is not big enough, so we have to make this 11. How do we do that? We borrow and make this a 4. So 11 minus 9, start with 11 and go down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We land on 2. 11 minus 9 is 2. Now what is 4 minus 2? Start with 4, take away 2. You're going to have 2. You know that because 2 plus 2 is 4. So we have 224. We think that's the right answer. So let's start with that and add in whatever we just took away, 297. Let's see if we can get the same, this original number back. 7 plus 4, start with 7 and go up, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we landed on 11, so 4 plus 7 is 11, so 1 goes here, carry the 1. Now the 9 plus 1 up here is a 10, plus 2 is a 12, so this becomes a 12, carry the 1. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, we get 521, that's exactly matching, so we know we did our original subtraction correctly. All right, great, only a couple more problems. What if we have 358? and we subtract from that 182. What is eight minus two? Start with eight, go down, seven, six. So eight minus two is actually six, so we put a six here. Now five minus eight, we can't really do that because five is not big enough, so we have to make this five into a 15, and we do that by borrowing to make this a two. So we say 15 minus eight, start with 15, go down, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So we landed on 7, so 15 minus 8 is actually 7. Next we have 2 minus 1, which is 1. And so we get an answer of 176. So we think that's correct. Let's check it. 176, we're going to add in what we just subtracted. 182. Let's add it back, doing the opposite. What is 6 plus 2? Start with 6, go up 7, 8. So 6 plus 2 is 8. Now what is eight plus seven? Start with eight and go up. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We land on 15, eight plus seven is 15. So we put a five here, carry the one. One plus one is two, plus one more is three. We get 358, that exactly matches, so we know we did our original subtraction correctly. Excellent, okay, we only have two more problems. Here is the next to last problem, 662 minus 463. So we have to do the subtraction. What is uh, 2 minus 3? Well, we can't do it because 2 is not big enough. So we make the 2 and turn it into a 12. In order to do that, the 6 is, we borrow from it to make it a 5. Now what is 12 minus 3? Start with 12 and go down 11, 10, 9. And we land on 9. So 12 minus 3 is 9. Now we have 5 minus six, but we can't do that either, so we have to again borrow and say we make this a 15. And the six in order to do that becomes a five. So now you have 15 minus six. Start with 15, go down, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine. And we land on nine, 15 minus six is nine. And then lastly, we have five minus four, which is just gonna be a one, and so we believe the answer is 199. Let's check it. We have 199. We just subtracted this number, so let's add it back in. 463, we'll add it back in and see what we get. Nine plus three, start with nine and go up 10, 11, 12. All right, so we get a 12, put a two, carry the one. Now look at this, we have a nine plus one, that's a 10 right here. 10 plus six is just gonna be 16, carry the one. Four plus one is five, Five plus one more is six, so we have 662. That exactly matches, so we know that our 199 is correct. Excellent, okay, we only have one last problem. 
uh, just to wrap up our practice with checking subtraction problems. And this is the last problem, 801. And we're gonna subtract 415. So we try to go in this column. What is one minus five? Well, we can't do that because one is not big enough. So let's just make it an 11. Let's borrow to, in order to make that happen. We try to borrow from here, but we can't because there's nothing there. So we skip over it and we borrow from here instead, making it a seven. When we make it a seven, it immediately goes into here, making this a 10. And as soon as it becomes a 10, we immediately borrow from this one, making it a nine, because then that goes into this column. So one more time, we make this an 11, we try to borrow from here, but there's nothing here. So we skip over and borrow from here. That makes it a 10. As soon as it becomes a 10, we make it a nine, because then we have to borrow for this last column. So then we have 11 minus five, Start with 11, go down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So we land on 6. 9 minus 1 is 8. And 7 minus 4, start with 7, go down 6, 5, 4, 3. We land on 3. 7 minus 4 is 3. So we get an answer of 386. Now we think this is correct. Let's check it. 386, we just subtracted this number, so let's add it back in. 415. So six plus five, six go up, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. We land on 11, six plus five is 11, so we carry the one. Now eight plus one is nine, plus one more is 10, so we have to carry the one in the 10 as well. Now the three and the one make a four, and you know that four plus four is eight, and so you put an eight here, 801, and that exactly matches what we have here, so we know we did our subtraction correctly. So by now you should know that when you're doing a subtraction problem, you can always check the answer by add, adding back in. Every time we added back in, we got a number that matched our problem, a number that matched our problem, a number that matched our problem. If you get a number when you're checking that doesn't match the problem, then you made a mistake somewhere and you have to check all of your work to see. So make sure you can do all of these problems, check them, make sure you're getting the correct answers, and then follow me on to the next lesson. We'll get more practice with checking subtraction problems. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.